What do we have here? What do we have here? Welcome to the D program show. Let's go. Welcome to the D program show. I'm your host, RMJR. And man, we got another one. We got another one today. Shug Knight. Marion Shug Knight is back again from behind bars. Let's go. Let's go to this. Let's go. Now nah, we don't want that view. We want this view. Yeah. Now nah, let's see. We'll do this one. Yeah. Marion Shug Knight is speaking out. And basically, Shug Knight is basically saying, Snoop Dogg lying about on and death row. We finna we finna play the audio and we finna get into it real quick. Y'all check this out, man. No, no lie. And I wanna know what y'all think. I wanna know what y'all think. Cause I'm gonna give you what I think. And get in them comments and let me know what y'all think. But check this out. You gotta remember one thing. When I first got in this business, people was giving people was only giving five percent airtime on the radio. If they got ten percent, they was popping champagne bottles. I was the first person to hit radio like it was an R and B act or a pop act. And I went from ninety five percent to ninety seven percent. At one time ninety seven percent of the stuff you hear on the radio was either on death row or somebody that was managing. I was the first one ever knew to own my masters. I'm the first one ever got people out their contract. But uh, how do you feel about Snoop owning it now? Well, I don't know. If he do, I doubt that. But if he did, it'll, it'll be a... Should Knight was asked, how do you feel about Snoop owning Death Row? If he do, I doubt that. Let's, let's, re let's rewind. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's rewind a little bit. Check it out. First one ever got people out their contract. But uh, how do you feel about Snoop owning it now? Well, I don't know. If he do, I doubt that. But if he did, it'll, it'll be a situation. Well, first of all, you got to look at it like this. I'm quite right. sure everything, I am death row. So night is death row. So I'm quite sure before it's said and done, all eyes on me and Machiavelli out of Fox have definitely come back to me. And the, the rest of the stuff. But one, one problem with that is, is that Snoop has a, par a partner, which is Michael Harris, correct? Correct. Right. Yep. If you look at it, they committed fraud. They committed bankruptcy fraud. I didn't lose my company by doing anything wrong. They went in and, uh, and the lawyer didn't show up, and they got a default judgment. I settled the judgment. They turned around and said, I didn't settle the judgment. But they committed bankruptcy fraud, which we just found out for sure last week. When they filed bankruptcy in 95, they said it didn't have nothing to do with uh, death row or anything. And the, the lawyer did also. And they lawyers knew. Sure, Knight is making a big point. Y'all listen. And you can't commit bankruptcy fraud and settle and do those type of things. So the same guy you see in the series, when you see all of his deposition in prison, her deposition, when they say and the lawyers knew this, uh, they... And the guy he's talking about is Michael Harris. Hey, K, hey, Harry O. Y'all check this out. About bankruptcy, and they didn't have a right to do it, and they settled. You can't turn around and do it. It's, it's called illegal. It's a crime. So you can't take a person who committed the worst crime of the century to take death row from black people to try to give it to white people and think you're going to turn around and reward and say it. He gonna grab Snoop and they gonna go get it back and have them pro. It don't work like that. So if we gonna if we gonna if we gonna talk about some, let's talk about it. Do you have a favorite album on that pro? That is a blessing. Murder. You see how he tried to change the subject. He said we gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. So Marion Shoot Knight is behind bars, and he's stating that what Harry O. And Cortazar Venando, a.k.a. Calvin Broadus, a.k.a. Snoop Doggy Dog, is lying. Because according to Marion Knight, a.k.a. Shook, 
Harry O filed for bankruptcy in 95. Why he was behind bars. And Shook said he didn't enter a default judgment for death row. So they obtained it illegally. So I want y'all to get in them comments because death row being in Snoop hands seems like a good gesture. At least that's what the people are saying. But Shug Knight saying, look, they got it. They obtained it illegally. And the way they obtained it, how would it really be right? And Shug Knight saying, because he knows the rules, he said, if he own it, which Shug Knight said, I doubt it. He said, all eyes on me, Machiavelli, and all the Pops music will belong to me. That's very interesting in itself. Tupac being dead. Afeni Shakur, a.k.a. Alice Walker. Or, I'm going to leave that alone, but a.k.a. Miss Alice. And basically, Suge is saying, look, I'm going to get all the Tupac's music. And he said he believes Snoop Dogg is lying. Hmm. He ain't lying. So, they perpetrating this to sell records. So, what do you think? Do you think Snoop Dogg is capping about owning Death Row Records? Or is Shug telling a bald face lie? But we know one thing. Somebody's lying. Y'all getting them comments to tell me. Again, like, share. Comment and subscribe to the D program show. Is Snoop lying or Shug lying? We know one thing. Somebody's lying. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. We gone.